Hey guys, welcome back to DBZ Boost Fury. We're we're all ready to go. We needed to use Spovovich and Yamu to find the wizard who was controlling them. A wizard? Yes, when the human race was still in its infancy on Earth, a powerful wizard named Bibbidi appeared. With him, he brought a terrible monster whose only purpose was destruction. That monster's name was Majan Boo. This monster's only desire was to eliminate all living things. Hundreds of planets were reduced to rubble by him. Entire galaxies were wiped from existence. That sounds awful. So what happened to him? After a while, Majin Buu became so powerful that even Bibidi could not control him. Bibidi used a spell to seal Majin Buu inside a ball, where he lay dormant. Bibidi used a spell to transport Buu from planet to planet until the ball was brought here to Earth. The Earth was meant to be the Buu's next target. No, that's terrible. But before Boo could be released, Bibbidi was killed, and the ball containing Boo has remained here on Earth to this very day. I don't get it. Why couldn't someone destroy Boo while he was inside the ball? That's a good question. As long as Bibbidi could never do the spell to release Boo from the ball, Boo was no longer a threat. However, Bibbidi had a son. He named his son Bobbidi. Bobbidi is on Earth right now, as we speak. He intends to continue his father's work and unleash Majin Buu upon the universe once again. I see. So what do Spolfovich and Yamu have to do with all this? Babidi is not very physically strong, but as a wizard he does not need to be. Instead, he, his magic enables him to harness the evil that exists in the hearts of people like Yamu and Spolfovich, and thereby control their actions in order to resurrect Majin Buu. Babidi requires a tremendous amount of pure energy. So they came after me. That's right, the Supreme Kai, the one you know as Mr. Shin, was the one who defeated Bibbidi so many ages ago. We have come here to Earth to stop him. I see your father and the others up ahead. Let's catch up with them. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Go on, I suppose Kibito has filled you in. Yep, sounds like we have our work cut out for us. I see Spolfovich and Yamu landing over there. Everyone try to suppress your energy. We don't want them to know we're here yet. Chapter 4, Bobbity. Can't remember how many chapters there are in this game. Spolfovich and Yamu landed somewhere around here. This is very strange. We searched this area before and found nothing. But a ship, a ship must be hidden somewhere around here. We should split up. That way we can cover more ground. Goku and Vegeta are now playable. Ooh, sweet. Uh, how strong are they? Oops. 70, 75 for Vegeta. Oh, looks like everybody else has some catching up to do. Like that. Feels like it's been a little bit since I got to punch something. Alright, there was a whole lot of dialogue there and I want to make sure that I don't have to see all that again. So, getting that save out of the way real quick. Oh, I gotta be Goku. Crap. Well, at least Goku's strong enough to go through that. I keep expecting to get like, um, like meat from like the last game to pop out, but all pops out is money now. There we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like little Yamu like minions. <laughs> I forgot they did this in this game. Oh god. 71. How much experience am I getting right now? Not bad. Wow. Oh. Hello. Should probably level up since I'm like getting decent experience. I don't see anything here. Oh, 
God. Seventy two. You guys can stop now. Uh, ooh, rice ball. Almost leveled up again. Oh god. That was close. Vegeta's 120 door. Holy crap, I'm leveling up so quick here. forget to do it myself. Oh. Um. Let's check out the equipment real quick. Let's equip that. Green belt. I gotta be 82 to equip that. Who the... Do you know Yajirobe? I heard that Yajirobe hates it when you run around him three times in a counterclockwise direction. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, I need to remember that because I need to try that out. <laughs> oh god. What a random... Th this random dude just standing here. He's like, do you know Yajirobe? <laughs> okay, leveled up instant transmission. would be a good level to stop at. Maybe like 80? Holy crap. The level here is like insane. I'm already at 76. Like, what the crap? Um... Crap. We meet again. Wow. This thing's not very hard. <laughs> Yikes. I'm worried about the laser guy. Oh crap, here he comes. Firing his laser. Oh, there's two of them now. Great. Yeah. He still does a nice bit of damage, actually. Nothing down there. Save point. All right. Well, I mean, I got Goku to, to 77, so I think what I'm going to do is off-screen... Ooh, I almost dropped my mic. <laughs> Would have been bad. Uh, I think off-screen I'm going to level everybody up to 80, uh, except for Trunks, because we can't use him right now. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next episode of DBZ Boost Fury. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Let's go punch a couple more guys before I end it off. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this many. Even though I was just here. Ow. 
Maybe I can... Yeah. Let's get all these coins. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing uh, for a little bit. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.